a poultry farm is a desired business type in Ghana. Today we're talking to a young man who is doing amazingly well and is telling us everything we need to know. My name is Nana Kobnaibwa and this is City Farms and I'm the leadsman and the co-owner of this very firm. I was born and bred in Ghana in the I think early 90s which <laughs> of course I wouldn't want to go deeper and uh, um, I lived you know I've always lived in Kumasi so I, I should say I lived most of my my, my life in Kumasi I attended uh, um, Anglican secondary school and then later to the KNUSD and I studied politics you know, I, growing up, I had this strong interest in politics, global politics, international politics, international relation, and, you know, I still have the um, interest though. What inspired um, City Farms? You know, growing up, um, I was always with my grandma, so during, um, Easter breaks or um, Christmas or um, one special um, person's birthday, they used to um, bring poultry beds home and maybe 10, 7, 8. Um, I had this strong connection with my grandma, so I'll tell her to keep one for me so that I can train it. So, you know, through all these, I mean, my, my, my grandma would. Um, my grandma would um, listen to me and then just give me one so I train it you know we had dogs as well and then we had other animals and birds you know so the, the interest was from the beginning City Farms has taught me how to how to generally acquire lands, register them, and then secure them. And um, it, it's taught me um, how to follow your instincts when it's positive. Because without your instincts, um, um, anything can carry on and you may uh, end up losing, you understand? Um, it's also taught me how to manage your scarce resources including time because without time and managing your time very well you can't survive as a human being and um, managing few, few people around you i mean the human resource factor because uh, very few know that uh, I, I i double up as um, as an aviation officer so you know i i on my normal duties, I do um, a 12 hour job, but I still have to locate time for um, my business. So, if I can't manage the very few people around me and then um, give them the best of my um, of myself, okay, including time, the, the, the business would rise up and then go down the drain just as um, so many businesses do. Baby steps because um, farming as a, um, as a business, when you want to take it as a business, you need gradual steps. You don't, um, you don't start uh, with um, huge capital because you have in excess of this or that you need gradual steps so that it grows it grows organically you get to understand every stage of it okay then you grow it that's when you earn because <clears throat> if you don't um, um, have enough time for yourself understand the very business you are into and then you start big when 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 the waves start roll, um, rolling in 
you may and then it ruffles you a little you you may not have enough shocks to 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 to, to shake it off so baby steps um, um how, how to how to love deeper how to relate how to how to yes how to plan biosecurity farming as a business has um, really taught me a lot and i'm still enjoying it every day it's a learning process <laughs> You know, um, these birds respond to stimuli. <clears throat> Some are extremely responsive, so um, you, you get to identify with all of them. So once you enter the house, they, 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 they come closer to you, and you know them. You know them because it's your it's your business. It's something you run. It's something you are you are on the farm on the regular. So uh, sometimes I have markings on them. Sometimes I identify them by their size, the, the way they, their, their lobes look like and all that. And then where they normally perch, you understand? So I have Cynthia, I have Jennifer, I have Lucy. You know, they are females, so, you know, nice names I came up with. You know, I have Dorothy. And a few, you know. The journey is as beautiful as the destination. So, um, if you know where you are driving at, you don't give up just so easily. We have we have had to encounter so many challenges from um, inexperience. One there was um, a case where um, we had to um, um, vaccinate um, these beds we we didn't know so much about it we, we only knew that okay to vaccinate beds sometimes you have to um, withdraw water and all that we got to the um, vaccine center um, the the attendant had left we starved these beds up to i think 9 a.m we came they were they were they were slow they were somewhere immobile and all that you see it was challenging we had to stay over and and then help um, these beds through that very stage where um i even felt it i even felt it you know it was it came as a shock because I think we lost that during that period we lost about two beds so from from that period we learned not to delay okay and 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 and, and, and then be on time the human resource aspect you know um, you may have your dream but the um, your employee is only there to help you build that dream okay but not to um, rally that dream, you know. You can't build a dream and leave it in the hands of another. You you may collapse it. So we initially we had um, one person and a second joined from um, the city center. But you know the city center um, person's outlook, general outlook, you know, was very poor. He wasn't as committed as myself and maybe the first employee. So it was very challenging. We we, we um, were always, always seeing um, um, mortalities. Nothing was working till we got rid. I mean, we settled everything amicably and he left. That was a low moment, but we had to move on and then find another person you know we were new we were, we were new in this field so whatever came in came in as a surprise money to um, getting the right amount of feed even for the beds the right amount of water 
the um, the positioning of the very poetry pen everything was a challenge to us but as i in earlier indicated every day is a learning process so we, we took it a step at a time consulted different people a great extension officers veterinary officers um, um studied on our own you know google and all that so um I, I i wouldn't say we are where we want to be but at least we are better than yesterday um it's through this very important business we've built um connect raise capital where we we look forward into um, expanding in the coming months we, these beds these same beds and feed themselves now they 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 buy their own vaccines they pay our employees on ground and uh, i think now everything is um, stable we have the market because um averagely i think Ghanaians um, eat more than one million eggs a day and, and, and I, I would urge so many people to come on board and um let's let's carry the poetry business on our shoulders.